Today, we're gonna show you how to make some delicious pretzel buns, and we're gonna do it using sodium hydroxide, the real deal, all the way through. 220 milliliter of lukewarm water, a teaspoon of sugar, and 15 grams of dry yeast. And the sugar here is just to feed the yeast so we can proof it. So mix this in. After 10 minutes and you see this, then you know your yeast is well and alive. And this well, is really kick. This is very foamy. I've never <laughs> seen it before. No, that's a lot here. And that goes straight into a stand mixer and get all the foam with here because there's a lot of yeast activity in that. Wow, impressive. And the rest of the wet ingredients, 220 milliliter of milk, two whole eggs, and 100 milliliter of good olive oil. Straight into the stand mixer. And then we're going in with 880 grams of type 00 wheat flour. And you want a good strong, you could use King Arthur bread flour or whatever, I'm not pimping any brands here, but this is Caputo type 00, very good. 20 grams of sea salt. Sounds like a lot, but it has to have a bit of saltiness in it. Then we go on with our dough hook, plug it in. And now we're gonna knead it on low until everything's combined. And then we're gonna knead it for 10 minutes on medium high. And when the dough is nice and smooth like this, we're gonna release it here from our dough hook. And we're gonna transfer it to an oiled bowl. I can show you. There we go. Let's get all of it with us here. Nice. And just gonna flip it around so we get oil on all sides, so it doesn't dry out. That's beautiful, nice and smooth. Now we're gonna cover this and leave it to rise for half an hour, 40 minutes, until double in size. Let's see how our dough is doing. And that has more than double in size, so that's beautiful. Let's get that out. It will release here. Here we go. <laughs> it was resisting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's pre-shape that a little bit so it gets a little bit rectangular here. Do we want? Then we're gonna split it down the middle. And I'm thinking last time we made eight out of this portion, but I think that's a little bit too big here. I think we should go with Shall we make 10? We don't want them too big, I think. Let's see. Or actually, I think That's actually I'm gonna six. make, I mean, I'm, yeah. gonna, I'm gonna go with that because since we're making pretzel buns, we don't want them to be that big, actually. I think this is, got, this is good. Doesn't matter if they're not exactly the same size. As I said before, it's home baking. And now we're ready to shape them. We're gonna fold them in like this to the middle. So we create like a seam and then turn it over. And then you use the tension of the surface to create your bun. And that will give you, you see, surface tension on that. And that will make sure that you get a good crust on the bun when it's finished. So fold it in, create a seam, turn it around and tension. Perfection. Exactly. And the last one is done. We just want to punch them down a little bit to flatten them so we get that sort of burger bun shape at the end. You can see I have the small ones up here. They're not all the same size. As I said, boom baking. So flatten them just a tad here. And we're going to cover them with a couple of tea towels. And then we let them rest here for half an hour, maybe 40 minutes until double the size again. Our buns are almost ready. Sneak a peek here. They look beautiful. And now I'm going to show you the trick how to make them into pretzel buns. We have to create a lye bath and that is done with sodium hydroxide. And in order to use that, you have to take some precautions. First of all, 
gloves. And this is highly caustic. So glass, plastic is your friend. Don't use metal because you will just destroy anything you, you have in your kitchen with, if you put that in this solution. Honey, if you wanted to get rid of me, there are easier ways, you know. <laughs> yeah, but I like the challenge. <laughs> oh, thank you. So, a glass ball here on a, a plastic cutting board with an anti-skid uh, towel below. And then there's one liter, 60 grams of sodium hydroxide flakes. We add to our water. And carefully, we're going to dissolve that. It will get milky, and then when it's all dissolved, it will get clear again, I'll show you. But do this with caution, you don't want to spill anything of this. And now you see, it's getting all clear here, and have a little bit of distance, because there are coming some fumes out of this, so. It doesn't smell very good, actually. No, <laughs> it doesn't. But it makes a nice texture on pretzels. If you don't die first. <laughs> yeah. Then we carefully take our buns, we don't want to deflate them, put them on a plastic spatula here, and we dip them in our lye, flip them around, like this. And we repeat with all 12. The funny thing is, the liquid gets warm by a chemical reaction. And keep your gloves on. Now we're going to sprinkle them with a little bit of sea salt. That's like signature on pretzel buns. And we take our scalpel. And we make a nice incision in each of the buns, so we get a cross on top. These are gonna look real pretty. Once they're all scored like this, we're gonna put them on the middle rack in a preheated oven at 200 degrees. Go for probably 15 to 20 minutes. Let's check if our buns, they're ready. Ah, they look fantastic. Ooh, they do look, look like pretzels. <laughs> look at that. It's just so beautiful. I mean, <laughs> amazing. Mm, and they smell so good. Let's get them up. And, and the lye, that's what's gonna give you that leathery exterior on those. These are gonna be excellent for many things. Smash burgers coming up, that's one thing. But these are just beautiful. They're picture perfect, actually. Yes, they are, actually. I'm impressed, love. <laughs> I'm telling you, but back to the lie, just so you don't get and get scared out there. It burns off in the oven, so there's nothing, absolutely nothing about these that <laughs> is gonna <laughs> no, no. burn you inside out. It's dangerous to handle, but not to yeah. eat after the bread. But after that, then they are <laughs> safe to eat. So beautiful they are. Let them cool down a bit, and then we're gonna cut into one so we can see the inside. They're almost too pretty to eat. <laughs> I mean, look at them. They are picture perfect, as I said before. Gorgeous, and the exterior leathery and nice. It's really good, let's see. I'm gonna break one for you guys. So you see, this is what you want. Look how it bounces back. Ooh, yeah. This is just perfect buns. Doesn't get better for a smash burger, for a sandwich, whatever. And it will look so good if you serve this for guests or whatever. Let me give it a try. Absolutely perfect. You can't get that exterior if you don't use lye. It's just not possible. That is the true pretzel bun. Give it a shot. <laughs>